guys, it's Biendeo, Biendeo, that's my name, yes. Uh, in the last part, we fought Jean, who was Professor Oak in disguise. Now, we've got some more gyms. Now, you may be wondering, oh, well, let's go to the water gym, because grass is strong against water. That's not the point of, th or that's not the thing of this game. Okay, I may as well talk about a few things. There's this place called the Challenge Hall. Now, in the Challenge Hall, you've got people talking about tournaments. Basically, these are set times, so basically, whenever you beat one of the leaders, or something, then this will come up. This is where you get some very special cards, if you so happen to win it, so I'll be trying to win it. Uh, other than that, you've also got Ishihara's house. Ishihara is someone who loves collecting cards. Now, you can read some of these books to talk about, or to find useful things. Such as being able to deal up to 160 damage, even though the max damage is 100, the max HP is 120. All that fun stuff. And yeah, um, if I go to my cards, just to show you, Squirtle has a weakness to electric, and so does lightning, sorry. And so does a bunch of the Pokemon. Most of them. Gyarados is an exception, which is kind of weird, because he's not weak to grass in, that, in the actual game. Yeah, but, uh... That means that grass type, not super effective. That that means you'll have to restructure your decks. Now, I you can beat the game with one deck, of course. Of course, that's a great thing about this game as well, is that since it's luck based, you know. Um no, you don't have to. So you can read these things to get some good techniques and stuff. Uh what else? There's a fire gym and that's about it. The the Pokemon Dome is the Elite Four. So basically that's where you go when you beat the game or whatever. When you're about to beat the game. Uh we're back to Professor whoever's lab. So yeah. Now here's something. If you go talk to these machines, it says you'll need the fire metal or whatever. Grass metal, psychic metal, I think it's the first one actually. Fight nope. It's the second one. Insert the metal. So whenever you beat one of the gym leaders, you can put in one of the medals and you'll get one of their special things. Now, I believe the X tells you that you don't have any of you don't have enough enough of the cards to get it. And it tells you you have 36 cards off. And you can see that if I look at this, I'm clearly I've clearly got none of these except why the heck have they got freaking Rach Raichus in this? Seriously, their decks are kind of weird because they're really lopsided on the things, aren't they? Actually, to be quite honest, it's kind of a weird deck. It relies heavily on those trainer cards, I mean, seriously. Anyway, point is, also, if we talk to this guy, he's like, Ho-ho, won't you test me to do? If you win, I'll give you a booster pack with energy cards. So we're gonna fight him. So we get to choose what deck. I had a failed attempt against the grass deck, and... Let's just say that was a bad choice. So we're gonna pick the water and fighting deck. Okay, so you can choose what deck you want to play against. Um... Okay, now, yeah, he does look like Reggie, doesn't he? Uh, so last time I had really bad luck with this. I'm gonna start off with a Goldie, because I got two Water Energies, and that may come out good. But I've also got an Ivy Store in there as well, which is handy! Let's go first! Yes! Yes! Victorious! Plus power, yeah! I'm on a roll! Who's this guy we can get to? Grass, dang it! Okay, point attack! <laughs> I'll just run into battle like that. Oh, Sandshrew, dang it, he's got sand attack and whatever. Mm. I've got noodle soup with me as well. The question mark sound. Oh, God. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll put it on the other goal, but I really need it. Dang it! Mm. Pinsa, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Dang it! I tell you, this game is rigged. I don't need a Jugong, I need some energies, you know? Uh, hold on. Death. Uh,. I'll give Pinsir the water energy, because Pinsir, if I can press select... Actually, if 
press, yeah, press the lag to go back to here. Yeah. Very good Pokemon. Because it's basic, you know. Come on! Yes! At least one head there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, but I'm dead anyway. Yeah! Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm a little bit tired and whatever. Um, now the grass energy's coming. Hold on. Uh, horn attack. <sighs> Good noodle soup. Noodle soup is just salt. Salt and, and a bit of flavoring of water. Well, I've got the grass energies there. If I can get another one, I'll just go straight to Ivysaur. Dang it, Steve! I'm sorry, I gotta got eat with two hands. I mean, like, I eat all the noodles, but there's this bit that I can never get. And whenever I drink all the soup out, that's when I, that's when I eat it. Oh, that's handy. Okay, sure. I saw time. Yeah. Come on, hit. Yeah. Take that, Sandro. Yeah. Nidorino. That may come in handy. Oh, wait, he's gonna kill me anyway. Oh, you're going for Professor Oak there. Okay. Oak. A. Yeah. Bad pun. Seal. So, yeah, there's only about 100 and whatever number of cards there are in the game, 119 or so. And that's cards, so of course it's not going to be every single Pokemon, it's only about 50 or so. Uh, get the Venusaur? Yes! Oh my gosh, it's going so my way. So, of course you can easily structure your deck. Go grab that Venusaur. I don't have that Grass Energy, do I? Uh, hold on. He's got water, so it's not helpful. But I can go for a poison power straight off. Vine Whip's gonna kill him, Sam. I'm gonna use Vine Whip, dang it. Oh, crap. Oh, but minus 10. Yeah, okay. I'm safe there. Grass, yeah! Yeah! 60 damage, yo! Take that! You may think this is Annihilation, well, yeah. Your Poliwag ain't got nothing! Uh, I might as well show off the Poliwag. I should sh No, I've already shown off my choke, yeah. Um, this is a thing that water types do a lot. Uh, so he's weak to grass, so of course I'll do 100 point damage, so pretty much destroyed there. But yeah, plus t uh, 10 damage plus 10 more, except you can only pretty much add 2 more anyway, so... Yeah! Oh yeah! I don't care if it's Annihilation, that's my technique. Try and get a Venusaur and then go with it! You know, here's one technique, actually. You use, you use your Professor Rock to try and dump one of your Ivysaurs, and then you use a... or whatever. And then you use a, um... Venusaur, uh... in the process. I should totally use that grass. Actually, no, he's gonna die anyway. We wanna do with that! So I might as well show off all these kids, um, so anyway, he just gives you the boost packs with the energies, which is handy. Okay, um, according to Game Facts, there's this guy who gives you pretty much every single, he gives you 60 boosts free, I don't, I don't really know about that. Uh, I have no clue about it, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, because we're only about nine and a half minutes into the part, I might as well show you some other things. Um. We, well, we gotta pretty much choose the next gym. Uh, one of them that I always, I like choosing is the Lightning Club. Now, hopefully nothing bad will happen, so just, just to make sure, actually, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, 
diary just to make sure, okay? 226 cards, okay? So it does look like there's more Pokemon, but truth be told. Now you... Yes, so this is an example of trades. You can get yourself level 20 Electabuzz traded for your other ones. And there's guys that do battles, perhaps. Um, no one here really, so you may as well just run into the place. But yeah, the trades are useful in getting things. Now, this is a gym where the guy's like, I'm a little busy, duel someone else. Basically, you gotta duel all three of these kids. And unfortunately, they are some of the most annoying ones, especially this one. My Pikachu is cute. You're gonna think, well, Pikachu? Jeez, Pikachu's pretty simple, right? Crazy Pokemon fan. You know, it's like, yeah, Pikachu, that'll be easy. You're gonna see how that, how wrong you are. Oh, Venusaur, that's handy. Uh, you're gonna see how wrong you are. Straight off. Uh, I'm gonna throw in that Jiggly Club. What does Jukong need? Not too colorless, but... Now here's some of the great things as well. If you've only got one Pokemon and someone someone manages to kill you really quickly, that's the thing. Oh, it's got the Pokeball, so of course it's gonna get heads. Oh, the coin flips is. Oh, of course you got two of them. Of course you had two. I didn't see what card they got. They're gonna play. Oh my gosh, and a bill? Really? <laughs> Place that flying picture. Yeah. Now you know the deck. Oh, big four. That's kind of cool. Um. All right. So, surfing Pikachu. What's with surfing Pikachu? 50 HP. But look at that. Uh, two two waters and they get surf. And you may be thinking that's kind of weird. Yeah, you're gonna be having to get your water energies and stuff out. Just kind of awkward. Yeah, surfing Pikachu's all right. It's the problem comes from I might as well show off this Pikachu. Uh, it's a different Pikachu from the one we saw before. This one has 50 energy or 50 HP, and it's pretty much the same thing. Except this one, you can do 10 damage to a bench Pokemon, which is kind of annoying. This one, this is the painful one. Okay, it's got no weakness. It's resistance to fighting. One lightning energy. And you can flip a coin and the defending Pokemon is paralyzed. So that's basically, that's pretty annoying. The other one is fly. Flip a coin if heads during your opponent's next turn prevent all effects of damage, including, including damage and stuff. So if tails, this attack does nothing. So half the time they'll hit with 30 and you can't do anything afterward. Uh, half the time nothing happens, which is good, okay? Now, thankfully I've got a Jigglypuff here to spam Lullaby, but jeez, jeez, think about that. Well, of course Lullaby isn't going- Oh, wait, that works. Oh, so that's how sleep works. If they get a Tails, they can't attack. Another Pokeball! By the way, uh, the rules state that you are limited to four trainer cards of this- Four of the same trainer cards. In fact, four of the same anything. So, of course, yeah, she wakes up, but not- Not being able to attack and stuff. Uh, hold on. Yeah, pretty much just keep hitting the pound. Let's see if we can get the surfing picture out of the way. No! Ugh. Gosh. Okay, water energy. Who are we gonna put down? We're gonna put down Steel. Not the guy from The Voice. I do not watch the thing very much. Okay, so now she's pretty much played all four Pikachus in the game. Wait, do I need a Grass energy? I might as well go for Grass energy. Odd hand, isn't that? Uh, pound, come on. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, we're definitely gonna kill, uh, kill that picture because... Yeah, I don't, I don't care, faint! This game doesn't say. Uh, keep that gust of wind, you never know. Okay, so what we get? Bulbasaur, yes! That is exactly what I want, because I've got the Venusaur there. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm paralyzed, so that's that's very handy. Uh, Krabby, I'm gonna play the Bulbasaur. You can play as many Pokemon as you want in the turn, but... But if I go here and try evolving, you cannot evolve Pokemon at the same turn in this place. So, what I'm thinking of doing is trying to... Those Grass Energies, I can sw swap between them if I've got the Venusaur, so... I'm gonna see if I can get that bit, some Grass Energies. On that Bulbasaur there. 
Uh, do I need to go Dugong? Not quite. Not yet. And then I'm gonna evolve to Ivysaur. And then... I'll be done for the turn. This is my strategy, kids. Pay attention. Thunder Shalk. Guess what? It's hitting. Yeah, that's three coin flips in a row. The chances of that happening are 12.5%. Well, the chances of anything happening are 12.5%, but the fact that it's three heads in a row specifically. Uh, we're gonna put down the seal, we're gonna evolve the seal into a dragon! Actually, that'd be very handy, because then I could just use... Can I retreat? No, paralyze. Paralyze! Uh, we're also gonna go Venusaur on this thing. But we'll keep the energies. You never know. Thundershock! That's four! That's four! That's 6.2... 6.125%. Yeah, I'm doing this in my head. Uh, you know what, actually? Gust of wind to the other flying Pikachu. I don't care. No energy, so I'm safe for another turn, perhaps. What's the retreat? One. Uh, should I do this? Yeah, okay. Switch to the Venusaur, now we're going for the Pokemon power, we'll use this power, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, put that there, take that, put that there, yeah, there you go, Solar Beam! Ah, uh, in your face! Yeah! Potion, that, that'll be handy, perhaps. So, we're back to the other one, the other one's gonna try to use Thundershock. <laughs> okay, that is five! Five in a row! Seriously, you've hit the threes! The... the... Th 3%, okay, I'm gonna put that back on Dugong. Okay, come on, come on, don't get enough heads. If you get enough heads, that's just gonna annoy me. Finally! Finally! Jeez! And a plus battle, that'd be handy in case if, if I ever need to use it. I'm gonna have a potion that if I can. Solar Beam, get rid of those flying Pikachus. So that's one, yeah. I got so annoyed at this flying Pikachu, and, I, and he hasn't even used fly yet. Um, by the way, did I show this Pikachu? Uh, there. This one has Gnaw and Thunderjaw. Oh yeah, I've shown this. Yeah. As soon as I get the Venusaur out, it's all easy. <laughs> this Venusaur is such a great Pokemon. Or at least the card is. I don't know about the actual game. Even though I use Venusaur quite a bit. Now this always takes me so long to try and get, okay? So you get, um, an Oddish. I've shown this Oddish, yeah. And it sprouts to search a deck for, a, for an Oddish. It will also note how it says a basic Pokemon named Oddish. That basically means you can go for other Oddishes if they were to exist. Not in this game. But yeah. And, you know, fire. Pretty standard Pokemon. This Flareon is actually pretty cool. Uh, first of all, you don't need any specific energies. That's kind of weird. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, a standard 30 attack, and also 10 plus 10 more for each damage counter on the 60 HP, so that's pretty nice. Uh, this, the picture we saw, Voltor, Vuvarino, uh, Primeape, you know, three, three coins, and it does 20 damage, and then, or 20 damage each, and this one, flip coin of tails, Primeape is now confused. Confusion is annoying. Uh, the Kabuto, we've shown this. Yeah. Drowsy. Clefairy, Clefairy heads them asleep, oh. and Metronome, choose one of their attacks, and you can copy the attack for, except for its energy cost, which is pretty cool. You can use one of their attacks, which can be pretty devastating if you're against that, you know, uh, I don't know, Venusaur. Uh, we also got the Meowth, which does paydays of flipping out now. This is a Pokemon set. Remove all damage counters from all your own Pokemon, but you gotta discard all your energy cards as well. So it's good if you've got no energy cards. It's one of those moves, but, you know. Uh, anyway. We also got another energy there. We got the Articuno, which is pretty cool. Um, 
I, th I think I shot off the Zapdos. This one is pretty cool. Flip a coin if heads of the defending Pokemon is paralyzed, which is kind of devastating. But this one, 50 damage. Flip a coin if heads, this attack does 10 to, to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If tails, it does 10 to your own. Which, if Articuno is your only Pokemon, then you then you get no damage. You get no damage on the back button. But you can do a maximum of 110 damage, or 100 damage, which is pretty bad. Uh, Pretty mean, you know, and of course, no weakness and resistant to uh, fighting. His HP is kind of on the mid side, but uh, you know, this Jolly is pretty cool too. Um, double kick, you know, two coins, 20 damage, and it, but it also does a nice little move. Again, no specific energy, they're just very nice. Keep along with that. Uh, pretty much, Paris. Okay, so we got that one down. The other ones aren't as annoying, I'll have to say. But we'll see you kids next time. Also, by the way, are the things... Are the lights moving up, or are they moving down? Have fun, kids.